Thanks for watching Tally's Art Tips and Tricks. For this series, I'll be doing chalk pastels. And for my techniques, I'm going to be going over materials, adding dark values, and then going back and adding your light values. So, uh, first, my brand. Uh, these are Master's Touch pastel sticks, and you want to make sure when you do chalk pastels, you don't get oil pastels. These are called soft pastels. It doesn't really say chalk, so you want to look for the soft pastels. Uh, don't get oil pastels. These were only 20 bucks, so it was pretty cheap. I'm not really sure what the best brands are. Probably like Sennelier or something like that. But I like these. I think they work pretty good. The first technique I want to go over is the materials you're going to need when you're using chalk pastels. So first, well obviously you're going to need your pastels. Also, a kneaded eraser, and these are nice because they're kind of like clay or putty. You can pull them apart. You can decide whether you want the tip to be small or thick. Um, you can pull it apart if you want a real small piece and push it back together. So that's what's nice about kneaded erasers. The bad thing is, is they get dirty pretty easily, so you're going to have to clean it off. And you can do that by just rubbing it on a sheet of paper and just to pull all the pencil marks off or whatever you have on there off. Um, another... Uh, material you're going to need is a blending stump or stumps. These are mine. They're kind of used. <laughs> They've been used a lot. There are thicker ones than this. I have one somewhere, but I can't find it, so I just have these two small ones. These two are good for like real small details, and the big one are were for like big areas. So get these. You can use them to blend out your medium instead of using your finger, um, so that's really helpful. And another thing you're going to need is fixative. What fixative does is you spray it on your paint or on your drawing or whatever you've done and it keeps all the medium, it keeps the medium completely on the paper so that way it doesn't rub off and get everywhere because chalk pastels, chalk pastels especially are messy because if you've ever touched chalk you get some on your hand right away so every time you touch your picture if you don't use fixative you're gonna get that all over your hand so I just oh, I just got this fixative um, at Michaels it's called Grumbacher um, it's you can use it for pastel charcoals and pencil and I don't think it was too expensive probably just like eight bucks or something but it's just a really good option if you're going to be using these kind of mediums so you don't get it everywhere but just be careful not to spray too much because you don't yeah you just want to spray, uh, spray like a layer over your picture because one time I did this really like well for me it was one of my favorite uh, pieces of art that I ever did oil pa or sorry chalk pastel um, drawing and I had it all drawn out just exactly how I want it and I took some not my uh, fixative. My teacher has this hairspray, which is also used sometimes, but it's not a good option. So I would actually buy the more expensive kind. Um, but I sprayed that on. I think I sprayed a little bit too much, and probably that and the cheapness of the spray caused it to pull all the color out. So I had to go back in and redo it. So if you don't want that to happen, don't spray a lot on and. Um, just take a bit of a risk and get a more expensive kind. It's really not that expensive anyway, so that's what you're going to need. The second technique I want to go over is I'm actually going to demonstrate. So, the, well, what I'm going to show you is how to do dark values. And this is just a good technique to use for chalk pastels. Uh, chalk pastels are a little tricky, but they're definitely a lot easier than using oil pastels. They're so much easier to blend because it's chalk. It's not oily. Um, you can blend it easily with your finger. And I think they're a lot more fun to use. So I'm just going to get a few colors out. I'm going to use blues. So this is actually going to be like, if you watch um, the the oil pastel demonstration. Um, I do something like this and it's pretty much a good technique for both. So to get your dark values you want to start out with a light color. So I have three blues here and I'm gonna start off with the lightest one and I'm just gonna draw in 
a thin layer and you can see that chalk is rubbing off here and you can just go in and blend it up with your finger. The one thing I don't like about chalk pastels is all this flaky stuff comes off. You can kind of rub it in, uh, but mostly you're just going to have to blow it off. And then if you want more color, you just keep adding uh, layers like that. Um, so that's kind of why these are messy, and you can see my finger. It's just like how chalk comes off on your hands. So I'm just going to try and make this a little bit darker. Alright, so I have that layer, and now I'm going to add a, my darker layer over top of it. You can see it's getting darker. And if you really want to get the if you want to get this super dark, you're just gonna have to keep adding layers because it doesn't really blend in too good. Or when you when you draw it out, it flakes off. So now I'm gonna add my darkest. So you always just want to start off light and get darker, and that's pretty much the same for any medium you use but especially works good for pastels um, so that's how that's gonna work so that's your putting in your dark values um, now the next uh, technique I'm gonna do is the light values adding light values in so this is gonna be a little bit different than oil pastels because for oil pastels what we did was we had to put in our light values first and then draw over with our dark values but we had to make sure make sure that we avoided the light spots because you can't go over oil pastels with um, a lighter color so um, but this is different because you actually want to get your darker values in first and then you can take your lighter color and see you can just draw over it like that to get your details in or I can take my white and just draw over it like that. So it's not really a big deal if you do light over uh, dark to get your light values, but don't do that with oil pastels. So that's all for the techniques and we will be combining them into um, my next tutorial where I'm going to actually draw, do a drawing with oil or excuse me with chalk pastels. Uh, thanks for watching.